And I, tell you what, I was going to give a run and Adam was going to go on for the night, but obviously we're into the night now, so I'm just going to get through to things. I need to thank a few people. Uh, I want to thank first of all the boys here, Ian and Steve, that have been on the, on the desk all day. Tickets. We were going to get the girls to sell them out today, but again, it's just been phenomenal. People have, have just given their time, their effort, they've bought tickets constantly. We've had to shut the raffle tickets now. They're all done. Raffle tickets are all done. So if you're not in it, you're not going to be We've had to write these down. It's a great host today. Um, we changed the sponsorship slightly, which I do want to explain. Initially, we're going from Cancer Research UK, obviously, which is giving support to Max. Looks for a friend of ours, and that's what we're going for. That's what we're going to do. However, because we're going to exceed the target, we've also got another friend of the Heath, Jay Tierney, who's in the um, St. Barnabas, St. Barnabas Hospice in Lincoln. He's been battling cancer for two or three years now. So, Max and I are going to stick the puppets to that. It's another cancer there. I hope that's okay with everyone. I know people are going to think they're doing that. It's, it's a fantastic cause, and believe me, the total which we'll go through later is just phenomenal. He's still a good one. Are you a bummy? 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 Um, it's been a fantastic day. Thanks for coming, Carl. Oh, God, for letting us do this here. Okay. But honestly, everyone has been phenomenal the whole time. It's, you know, people have asked to do things to help out. We couldn't have people stood by a tree all day. You know, if that's what people want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost in ball. <laughs> yeah, it's been that sort of thing, it's been fantastic. This is the world's horrible really. It's horrible people, but this whole thing has really restored my faith in human nature. It's been fantastic and it just proves what fantastic, beautiful people is surrounding this man. Katie's 27, it's a bit cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Katie won that, which, which is great. Um, Tony and Dave on the decks. Not obviously on the f mics. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for, for them too. The, that's volunteered their time, all this stuff. Everything's been volunteered, given for free, so we can raise, everything we raise just goes oh, towards cancer really research. Great. Which is, you know, you can't ask for any better than that. Um, I want to thank our sponsors, Barry Excellence and Food Services. The guys from Tristan, uh, Tristan 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 because this lady here, he's, he's been Sorry. outstanding. Sorry. Whenever I do anything, I do a few events and stuff, we ask for things, or anyone in the village needs anything, they go to her first. She's got a heart of gold. She does everything you can ask for. She's fantastic. She's done the barbecue today. She looks stunning and unbelievably good. That's for this Thank you, Mel. You're always the first one you've come to, and I appreciate that, and I want you to know that.
Come on, beloved friend. So when I came up with this idea of this, I thought it'd be a good thing to do. I really wanted it to be important, to be worthwhile and special. And I can't, I've got a vivid imagination. I did not imagine how good it would be. It has been absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. The prizes have just been given, donated at the time, so the love of the people, there for everything, everything. And it is we know, just for the little ones, we know that. But I really, really, have got in my heart, and I thank you, and she will be very, very proud of what you've done, what you've passed to And I mean, it's been, it's been fantastic. Sorry, buddy. It's all right, it's going to be smiley, just make a video. You doing a selfie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say the buffet, like, at this point, but... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, I've been to the buffet, it's... it's uh, <laughs> Struggle trains! <laughs> Max is uh, going to say a few words after we've done the golf presentation to get that out of the way. Glenn's going to look after that. Max will say a few words. Then we'll have a sort of five or ten minute break, recuperate, look after ourselves. Sell tissues at ten pound a go. Chicken chow mein and fried rice. Very good, sir. Is that the right thing? Yeah, very good. Yeah. So far, we have raised. <laughs> oh, this is this is just on the light so far. Four thousand seven hundred sixty-two pounds and fifty pence. I was, I was going to write it and that ends up with six and a half thousand pounds, which is just not the end of it. Most of all, I want to apologise for my point. I hope you can all hear me. Um, I just want to thank everybody. It's already been said, but I'll say it personally for me. Uh, thank you so much uh, for coming along tonight. Um, the golf news during the day, started the day on, it was just fantastic. Apart from my first shot, that I was just saw it. The great big air shot, which uh, I've never done in my life before, but anyway, I was coerced into it. It was a piece I didn't know that. Um, yeah, I really struggled to think about what I should say tonight because um, it is quite an emotional thing. And, um, it's supposed to be a night, it's supposed to be a night to remember. And a night for, uh, for us to have a laugh, a joke. Uh, that's what we have done all day today. Um, Thanks. <laughs> it's a game yeah, thanks, um, so I was really struggling. I thought, look, what, what can I focus on tonight? And um, I can't thank people enough for being here. To be honest, that's already been done. The personal thanks have already been done. Um, but before being diagnosed, I used to come up to these sort of functions, and it was hard, it's really hard to really sort of put a measure on what it is to have cancer. Um, I lost my father to cancer 17 years ago. And I don't know if I ask the question, you know, how many people in this room have been touched by cancer? Then it would be a fair few of you that would be putting your hands on. Is that it's a horrendous experience to go through. But that's where these charities come in. And that's what tonight is all about. Is raising money for these charities. And all I wanted to do was just do my little bit. My little bit for the future generations. So that I saw my dad 17 years ago go through what he went through. My mum will testify the difference today 
and 17 years ago of being a cancer patient. He's well to part, absolutely well to part. And that is because people like you come to events like this, putting their hand in their pocket and supporting charities that are up there on their yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When Simon came to me and said, I'll get a few golfers together and we'll do a little charity function. <laughs> I thought, yes, no worries, I'll be out to say a few words. And look at it, look what it's turned into. Just absolutely amazing. Oh, I can't put it into words how blown away I've been from the first moment today all the way through. Even before that, just as soon as we started going out and asking for help, um, well, to be honest, I spent most of my life never asking for anything. Um, and I find it quite awkward still now, actually. Uh, asking for anything. So most of what tonight has, has turned into has really just been from people offering, not been asking, it's just been given. No questions. And for that, I feel overwhelmed. I feel embarrassed, if I'm honest. Um, but credit to everybody that's been involved. I think it's been an absolutely unbelievable event, something which I hope we can build on year on year. So this event was really, when I thought about it, when I broke it down, I thought, really, what do we want to achieve about this event? There's three main things. One is to raise some money for these charities. Two is, I just wanted to raise the awareness, because I think there's, there's all these conspiracy theories about, there's a cure out there somewhere, it's sat there somewhere, it's just the conspiracy theories. There's too much money involved. Trust me, there's a massive difference today because of these, these charities than there was having cancer so many years ago. And they're still working to improve that. And it's not all just about finding a cure. This is about quality of life. I want to go and keep the therapy at the moment. Yeah. But look at me. I'm really going to make it to once again. My dad, my dad has been on the train just to go and get treatment. He wouldn't have been stood up here doing these things after 10 months of treatment. So if it does make a difference, I just want to raise the awareness of that. And the third thing, was to create some fantastic memories for everybody in this room, included. Something to take away and something to enjoy. I think it's weird because I heard this the other day on a, on a program I was watching. But I think in the human spirit, there's something built to us, which is a sense of immortality. I think every day we all live our lives with that sense of immortality. We're going to live on forever. We're 21. Just look at the internet, it's still 21 over there as well. And every single day, like it's 21. And that's really where, that's really where the mantra, live life to the max, comes from. Is that, I've lost that sense of immortality now. But I don't see it as a bad thing. I see it as a good thing, I see it as a blessing. But I live every day to the maximum. And every time you look at this day, that's why I want you to be. I want you to remind yourself that life isn't forever. As much as we all think and love to think it is, it's not. And that is the one definite, true thing about life. Not as much as we want to think about it, we never do. But I remind you every time I take tablets that life isn't forever. So enjoy it while you're here. Right. The last. Just the last thing I wanted to do is just say a few thank yous. This is my first opportunity. My mind up. My mind up. I'm glad you don't know what you're saying. That's the number one thing. It means the opposite where he comes from. Yeah, it's my opportunity just to thank a few people over the last 10 months. I'll be doing things for me. Um, the first one, Simon Cowdery. Yeah. 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 Simon, Simon, Simon is my chair at work. Where are we, Simon? We've been pushing 20 years now. Believe it or not. 
I know he doesn't know he's been working for 20 years, but he has. Um, and he's been there like a father to me since the start of this process. Um, he's the reason why I can live life to Max, because um, he's given me the time. I haven't worked since, since December, since diagnosis. Um, still get paid as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but in all honesty, without this man, I probably wouldn't be here now. I probably wouldn't be doing this now. My life would be very, very different if it wasn't for the things that this guy has done for me. So, um, Uh, the next person is, is that his mum, Lindsay. Um, again, you know, my life was very different before this I used to come up here. The reason why so many of you know me here you know, is because every other weekend, or pretty much every weekend here, yeah, I was coming up to me uh, to come and see my daughter. Um, and obviously since diagnosis, I've not been able to manage that journey as often. But I've had no pressure. Um, the support that she showed me has been fantastic. Um, in making sure that Benny, I mean the daughter there, um, is looked after. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, two of the people that made the journey up today is my mum and my brother. Me and my brother have not been the closest over the years. I've been the first to admit that. Probably spending a good 20, 25 years of giving our own lives, really, doing our own thing. Um, one of the positive life products, if you like, of, of being a cancer patient is that people do view life in a very different way. Um, and that's me, me and my brother have been up this since the time to I'm not going to say sorry. Massive event. And why? 
You know, okay, you can point the finger at me and say everyone's here for me, but they they are here just as much for him as they are for me. Because it's about supporting the soul. So thank you for that. Thank you. Take a bow, son. Hey, can you just come up there? I just, I just want to give everyone a little bit more. If I want to charge glasses, everybody, because I'm going to ask my daughter just to give a short time to the okay? And then we'll move on to do the auction after a short break and the eagerly anticipated raffle once we've got the prizes set up for you. But just for one last massive, personal, heartfelt thank you to everybody that's in this room tonight. Thank you. Thank you.